Hi everyone, I'm Yu Fu, a PhD student at Georgia Tech. I'm happy to present our work, Hoop Insight, analyzing and comparing basketball shooting performance through visualization. This work is done with my advisor, Dr. John Stasko. Shooting is the most important activity in basketball game. All the dribble, passing, screening, tactics, they all have one purpose, to create an easier shot or to prevent one. Shots can be taken at different locations, a three-pointers, a mid-range, or right under the basket. And shots can be taken in different forms. You can shoot ball, dunk it, or make a layup. For a long time, professional teams and sports media, they analyze the game by tracking the results of these shots. The so most important metrics are how many shots they took and how many shots they made, and the ratio of the two which is called field goal percentage. But now, there are more data attached to these shots. It has timestamps, the location on the court where the shots were taken, what types of the shot, and which players are on the court when the shots were taken, and many more. This growing data can afford more sophisticated analysis of the game. One type of analysis that has arguably changed the course of basketball is called shot charts or shot maps, invented by Kirk Goldsberry to analyze the spatial pattern of shooting activities. Since then, Kirk Goldsberry has recast his inventions into various forms. Some of them are aesthetically appealing and attract millions of fans. The visuals alone can tell a compelling story. Other practitioners have followed suit. For instance, Todd Whitehead transformed Stephen Curry's career three-pointers to a physical representation. These shot charts are good for engaging people and communicating some information, but they only provide limited analytic value, or tend to oversimplify insights, or never support more advanced insights, in particular, insights coming from comparison, which is arguably one of the most important analytic activities in sports. Current practices compare different shot charts by simply putting them side by side as small multiples. It's nearly impossible to discern the differences using the basic shot charts. Even with more advanced location-based aggregated shot charts, like these two screenshots representing LeBron James shooting in the recent two seasons, it's still difficult to contrast these two shot charts without looking back and forth. Therefore, it's hard to get insights. By analyzing the current research and practices, we derive three design goals and corresponding requirements. First, we intend to enable more effective spatial comparison by designing explicit visual encodings that can facilitate pre-attentive multivariate spatial comparison. Second, we intend to support multiple analytic and comparative perspectives by enabling users to create a different comparison scenarios through simple interactions. Third, we want to communicate the comparison within the context of original data, which requires us to present the two reference shot charts together with the comparison views, so they can provide context and serve as devices for direct manipulation. But you may ask, what are the key metrics we want to visualize? Here's an example. These are the two years of shooting performance of one player, Joel Embiid. On the left side is from season 2021, right side is from season 2022. The size of each circle represents how many shots were taken at each spot. We call it frequency. And the color is how efficient he shots from that location. We call it efficiency. So we want to compare these two years and answer two questions. Where did he take more or few shots? And is he shooting better or worse? To put it in a simple way, so imagine we have three positions on the floor. Last year, he made 50 out of 80 shots from spot A, 5 out of 15 from spot B, and 20 out of 40 from spot C. And this year, the name changed to the right side. So we have the delta for each position. From spot A, he took 10 more shots and shot 4% worse. From spot B, he took 10 more shots and shot 7% better. We want to visualize the deltas and answer two questions. So turning this into a data set, for each position, we have D1, D2, and Delta for both frequency and efficiency. And we want to encode the two variables in the Delta. 
as well as the average of D1 count and D2 count as an adjustment. And in addition to that, we want the encodings to surface the spatial pattern rather than just compare single positions. We went through an iterative design process and designed two types of visual encodings to represent the multivariate differences. Please refer to our paper for more details. Here we use multiple cases to demonstrate how Hoop Insight can aid in basketball analytics. This is the interface of Hoop Insight. It consists of three columns, two selecting views on each side, and a comparison view in the middle. You can select entities for selection views. You can select different seasons, choose players, teams, or opponents, then click Show Short Charts. Here I select Joel Embiid as my first selection. It will fetch the data and create selection view and its charts. Then I select Giannis Atetokounmpo as my second selection. Once I made my two selections, the comparison view will appear automatically. It compares Giannis to Embiid. The top sub-view shows where Giannis took more shots, and the bottom sub-view shows where he took less shots. The green triangles indicate he is more efficient shooting from those locations, and the red ones indicate he is shooting worse. We also implemented another encoding called the needle. If the needles are pointed to the right, it indicates Giannis is shooting more, and vice versa. Users can also hover over the labels to filter the locations a player shot better or worse. On the top, users can choose four different encodings for the shot charts. As we introduced in the paper, the four types are shots, cell, region, and zone. Let's dive into our case study to see how Hoop Insight works. In this case, I want to analyze the reigning MVP Nikola Jogic impact on offense. First, I want to take a look at his individual shooting performance from the current season. As you can see from out orange, Jogic is extremely efficient at shooting. And the area graph at the bottom shows that he is consistently good, except for one or two bad games. And from the shot chart and tree map, you can see he is also versatile, meaning that he is good at different types of shots from different areas. Next, I want to compare him with his MVP race counterparts, Joel Embiid. So I picked Embiid for the first selection and Jokic for the second. So once I made my two selections, the comparison view allows me to see the difference in shooting pattern and performance immediately. You see the upward big screen triangles in the top view? That indicates Jokic is taking a lot of more shots proportionally in the box. The smaller downward triangles in the bottom says he is taking less shots from the mid-range, but actually shooting better. But notice that Embiid is actually more dominant right under the rim, as shown by the big red triangles in the bottom view. You can also hover over these triangles to get the statistical details. Next, I want to compare him to Yanis Atetokounmpo. So I change Embiid to Yanis, then boom, the difference is here. Jokic is much more efficient and shooting more in the box except for the middle lane, where Giannis can drive and attack more frequently with his super athleticism. Of course, you can get more insight by clicking around, but their different styles and efficiency are clear through the comparison view. The third perspective is to analyze his influence on his team's offense. So here I pick his team Denver Nuggets for both sides. Now there is nothing in comparison view because they are the same. But we can create different conditions using the filters we implemented. For the left side, I want to see when he's off the court. On the right side, I want to see when he's on the court. Again, the comparison view reveals the differences. When Jokic is on the court, his team is taking more close to the rim, high efficient shots, and less mid-range shots. Another novel analytic angle is that you can actually use the lasso filter to check who assists the most in different areas. So I can freehand draw different polygons. So when I hover over them, Jogic is leading assist in every area. Ultimately, our paper provides a reflection regarding several aspects. Designing consideration for spatial comparison, 
scalability and transferability of visual techniques and interactions, and designing a domain expert method. The Hoop Insider system is up and running, and thank you for your time.